workstation test and user login. Before logging into AdvancedMD, AdvancedMD wants to test every computer that you want to run its software on to make sure it has a few basic things set up. For example, open up Internet Explorer, go to AdvancedMD's website by clicking up in the address bar and typing in www.advancedmd.com and hit enter. Over on the right hand side click on the user login link and down below click on the workstation test link. You can see here there's a list of tests that Advanced D wants to perform to make sure it has these items here on your computer. To begin it, click on the begin test button and you may see a few pop-up windows depending on what you have installed on, on your computer or what you don't have installed. For example, one of the pop-up windows is, says it appears you have the PDF viewer installed on this computer. You need to have PDF as one of the requirements to at least view some of the reports. It asks me would I like to verify it to make sure it's working correctly. I can say yes. And then it tells me this page will test your PDF viewer when you click OK. I click OK. If the PDF comes up in this little pop-up window here and I can actually view it, and it says the PDF viewer test page, congratulations, it passed. I can close out and it will ask me could I see the PDF document? I'll say yes. And then it will tell me all tests were successful. Now in some instances you may not have this Microsoft Access Snapshot Viewer installed. If it says it's not installed on your computer you'll see a little pop-up window and maybe just a little tiny link that says click here to install. Be sure you say yes and you click to install anything that AdvancedMD asks you to install because our goal here again is to make sure that everything passes. Next, if you'd like to have AdvancedMD set up on your links toolbar here so anytime you click on it it pulls you right to the login screen you can do so. First we'll click on the login screen and then once our test is finished we can click on the client login link to go to the client login page. Now when you close out of AdvancedMD and you open up your Internet Explorer again and you type in www.advancedmd.com it always takes you to the home page and then you have to click on the user login every time unless you want to set this up as one of your default links on your links toolbar here. For example, I'll go up into the menu, click on favorites, down to add favorites, the name of this page by default's login and I can delete it and type over it and say maybe it's AMD for advanced MD. Select the links folder and then click OK and then you can see right there I've got my advanced MD link. So if I go to Google's link, it takes me to Google, back to advanced MD, I can bypass the home page and go right to the user login screen. To log in, simply type in your username, your password, whatever it is, and then also your office key and then click on advanced MD. Every time you log into the software here the first thing you're going to see is the dashboard which is really cool because it's a basic overview about some of the things that are the, which is a basic overview about certain things for example in the first section here anytime there's a software update you can either watch a preview video or download a PDF document to read more about those updates the center section here is any outstanding is any tasks that have been assigned to me and you can see I've got one outstanding one up at the top that's in red. If I want more information about the task I can hover over it and it will give me a pop-up note to explain that I do have to pick up donuts tomorrow for the office party. I can make changes to the task by simply double clicking on it and Now if it's not past due then I want to change the time and make it maybe at 5 o'clock or 6 o'clock and then click OK and then this will update so it's in black so it's not past due. Or if I need to view more information about the task I can always click on the All Task button and it pulls up the task screen. And again you'll learn more about this in the task training video. So let's say I completed a task, I did pick up the donuts, check it marks it off, removes it from my to-do list, and then if there's anything else that's past due, and apparently I hit that threshold that time, so now it's changed from black to red. So now that task is past due. 
just can't keep it up to date on my tasks here. Okay, over to the right we've got our overview, what they call key performance indicators or KPIs. Of course we're missing the K here, but that's okay. My accounts receivables shows me that I have $15,000 plus in the 120 day bucket, need to work on it. Down below I can get more nitty gritty, um, including the month to date on things listed here like charges, payments, and refunds. If I need to know how they got this number on the refunds, a negative 1891, go ahead and click on it. It'll pull up a help menu here. Of course you have a lot of details to read through, but I can scroll down real quick and say, and look under how the number is derived, and it basically tells me that all payments that have been applied to a refund charge code have been posted in the reporting period are totaled. It says, under how is the number derived, it says all payments that have been applied to a refund charge code and have been posted in the reporting period are totaled. So basically all payments that have been posted as refunds with the procedure code tied to them. Now I got a few other columns here that are obvious. Last month to date, I didn't have any visits um, last month, but the last month before was three. Last month. And of course I have other columns here like last month to date, what I did last month, and the percentage of last month versus what I'm doing now. And the percentage of last month. Now if I wanted to change, now the only column I can change in here is last month to date. And I can change that to, and I got two choices, I can either have this right now, last month to date, or I can change it to last, I can either change it to the month of last year or I can either change it to the same month of last year. To do that, you can go up under the Utilities menu, down to System Defaults. You can go up to the Utilities, down to System Defaults. And then over on the left hand side is your dashboard. Now the System Defaults, we got a training video for that, so you want to watch that as well but you can see here when I click on it over in the right section I can change it to same month last year or leave it as last month and I can go ahead and close out of that. Down below we also have a financial health tab that lets me know um, as far as the unbilled charges go I've got 10 of them and if I click on the link it'll give me more information about it and if I click on the link it'll actually pull me and if I click on the link it'll give me more information about it and also I can go to my claims center by clicking on the green button up at the top and it will show that I have 10 in my unbilled screen you can see up at the top there it and you can see up at the top there it is 10 unbilds and they're all listed here for me to fix no worries you're gonna learn about all this it's really cool Now, if you don't want certain people when they log in to see your to see your financials over here. Now, if you don't want certain people when they log in to see your financials here, you can do that by changing their role setup. For example, go up under the utilities menu down to role setup. And over to the left hand side I'm going to select the administrator because that's because that's what I'm logged in as as an administrator and you can see down below that I have KPIs I can view them. Simply uncheck it, click save and close out and next time I log in as an administrator role, administrative role, I won't see these key KPIs or the accounts receivable. Finally, finally you can close out of your dashboard here and if you need, and if you ever need to pull it up again, go up under the file menu down to dashboard and this will also refresh and this will also refresh the dashboard. And this will also refresh your dashboard. So if there's any other tasks that are assigned to you recently, simply pull it back up and they'll be listed there.